God bless you in Jesus' name. And to you sitting down there, God bless you as well in Jesus' name. Uh, like we have been told, the message is coming in Karma today. And uh, the message is titled, Waiting You Carry. Ask your neighbor, Waiting You Carry. And the grace of God, it is like the message is going to be a follow up to our Sunday school. Praise the Lord. I didn't know what the Sunday school would be today. And the message also tied with the Sunday school. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Rise in your feet. I want us to pray one or two prayers. But the first one will come in a song. And I want you to sing from the bottom of your heart. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down. Father, in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. 
And the church says, And the saints of the Lord say, Let's be seated. God bless you, Jesus. Give you what you want. 
You must say, oh, now I've let you complain. Now I've let you that you don't want to serve him again. You want to go back to, to, to your friends. Hey, young lady. Take a look at this. This is your blessing. This is the right that you have been looking for. This is the thing that you have been praying for. He said, I come and give it to you. What is the opportunity that made you complain? Let me explain. Wait now. Wait. What is it again? Because those that trust in the Lord 
shall be as one sign which cannot be removed, but abide it forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people, from henceforth, even forever. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Let the righteous put forth their hands unto the iniquity. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good, and to them that are hot price in their hearts, that are so such as turn their way to their crooked ways. The Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity. But peace shall be upon the children of God. Hmm. On this journey to the great kingdom of the great king, there are so many things the entire believers do to know. But as they go on on this journey, they will get to understand those things by and by. Because one thing has been discovered that in this end time, a lot of the entire believers have been deceived, some have been deluded. Why some are people being destroyed? By heretic teachings and circumstances of things that are going on around them. And whereas the Bible warned that friendship with the world is an enmity with God. Hmm. On this journey, there are some believers that are already compromised. Some are already getting tired and getting weary. Why some are even less their best love? They are confused as to whether to continue in the righteous way or to follow the way of the world. But whoever follows the way of the world will end up in eternal damnation. So, I pity the entire believers. Because they have a lot of battles to fight and a lot of enemies to confront in this end time. What a pity. But what they show, the grace and the divine enablement that we see them through is always available. If they can cleave onto the author and the finisher of their faith. Like this one coming, she has already been deceived. And she's, she's trying to be deception because she was tired and she lost hope. During the moment of compromise, the enemy carried him. <laughs> God of pity. Young lady. Young lady. Young lady. Young lady. Truly, you have been deceived and delivered. 
The enemy has deceived you into carrying a yoke and a body as your best right. Now, why do that? Not that I tell you here. Not that I tell you here. Ah, see. Okay, the devil has deceived you. <laughs> Satan has deceived you. He said, Lie. How can I tell you to get the devil or the devil? Is it someone like you? See, I'm a child of God, though. Yes, I'm a child of God. Ah, I'm not taking a lot of over over to be like a book. There are lots of there are lots of so-called believers who have been deceived by the enemy, and they have entered into his bondage and they are operating under his oppression. And you know what? Whenever someone is in that state, every shot of victory over the enemy will never be manifested. <laughs> Have I ever told you a lie before? Young lady, Amen. as I used to tell you, on this road to the great kingdom of the great king, there is no room for excess baggages. Either we travel far, must travel light. The journey is still far. So, my advice for you is to drop this yoke and body. Don't waste time. <laughs> Drop it. Okay. Can I be factual with you? You cannot enter into the great kingdom of the great king with this for you. So talk. Good. Now that your drunk is seeking first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, every other thing shall be added unto you. Stop running after the other things. Stop complaining about the other things. And make sure you do not carry this again. Okay. As you go on the journey, I will continue to monitor you. Eat it. They have wicked power. That 
is great.
I will overtake. I will draw my sword. I will deny this boy. My hands shall destroy them, and my loss shall be satisfied upon them. But know this in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, Jesus says, Come unto me, all ye that are I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for my own yoke is easy, and my body is light. And you shall find rest unto your soul. Young lady, as I used to tell you, you cannot enter into the great kingdom of the great king with excess packages. These are things that will knock you off completely from the way. Drop it. Draw the bread and the water. Do you still want to eat the bread of sorrow and drink water of confusion? No, it is the bread of life. This bread of life. Look, by accepting and taking part of it, the enemy has successfully clipped your wing. Huh? And he has successfully hindered your spiritual antenna from picking signals from the headquarters. Now listen to me. I know your so-called friend is still coming. When it comes, tell them that a name has been given to you to use. And that name is the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. The name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Make sure you mention the name of Jesus okay. in his presence when it comes. Yeah. And you will see what will happen. Okay. Don't you forget. Remember, the name of the Lord is a strong child. Only the righteous will run into it and be saved. If you will forget anything at all, don't forget that name. Coming. 
Has he really blessed you? Bless you. Has he really given you things that you feel that you needed? He has not. He has not given you anything. Look at I came. God said I should give you your blessing. In fact, I tell you again. Your God said I should give you bread and water. Oh, oh. oh. you're giving me. Yes. Your God has given me another thing. He said to you. <laughs> I'm not asking you. I said I should give to you. You're giving me. Look at this. This is another bless. This is another goodness. This is another memo. This is another message you are getting from your God. Young lady. Oh, you feel that it is heavy. Yes, let me tell you. You see, this is glory, glory, heavy. The heavier glory. The greater glory. That is it. Thank you. But let me tell you. This man that you are. Talking about is there around you. It's more is there around you. If you are not careful for this time, who will take away from us? He has done it once. He's done it the second time. The third time, if you come around and you bow for him, you are gone. And this time, when he come, you face him, you fight him, and you face him. What did I say? I was fighting. I will see you some other time. <laughs> don't worry, I'll see you. Don't worry, don't worry. Just continue with the road. Just continue with the road. I'm not getting back. A lot of people that are supposed to be flying, they are running. Those that should be running, they are walking. And those that are supposed to be walking, they are crawling. All because of the evil laws that the enemy has given to them. What a pity. Young lady, young lady, <clears throat> the enemy has even succeeded in handing more to your yoke and body. Baba, stop it. Stop that thing that you are saying. I can't see The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, 
and the pride of life has eaten deep into you. Ah. Anyway, I am not sent to continually dwell with disobedient children. Since I have called several times, and you have refused to listen and hearken to my word, well, I'm getting out of your life. So, wherever you head is your own choice. But wait, wait, wait. It, it, it is not like that. It's only that. I don't even know what to do with this. Antenna. That your antenna can no longer pick signals from the headquarters. What did you say? Okay, okay, Papa. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, but wait. Please, I'm tired. Let me to put this book down, please. If you are tired of carrying it, then put it down. I am not the one that places it upon you in the first place. Yes, you are right. But this time around, I can't put it down with you, Papa. Please, you need to help me. Thank you. Hey, hey, you did 
the fast about it. Thank you. 